Hey gang, John Baccarella here with your Lake St. Clair fishing report and a update on the ultimate walleye derby that's going to be coming up here in what about 10 days? Yeah, about yeah, 10 eight, days? eight days. Eight days, yeah, yeah. wow, yeah. it's really getting close. But let's start out with the fishing report first. Um, and uh, if any of you were out and about today, you would have noticed that we had kind of a kind of a January kind of day out there today, right? With all the snow and everything, the snow and the wind, the last several days have been really cold and snowy. And the water temperature has plummeted out here on St. Clair. Water temperature at Belle Isle right now is 36 degrees. It was 45 degrees a week ago. So nine degrees, guys, um, which is actually good for you guys because the timing is gonna be like optimal for when your event starts yeah i think it kind of stalled things out for yeah. a minute there and now we'll be we'll be ready to roll when it starts up so yeah big girls are going to be showing up in numbers because i'm sure they're not spawned out yet so timing is going to be absolutely perfect for this event so i'm expecting some really big fish um, but right now unfortunately i would imagine everything is pretty stalled except for the perch bite because the perch bite has still been going crazy up on the north end by Selfridge, even for the last few days. I don't know about today, but I know yesterday they pounded them up there both in boats and from shore, and guys at the base at Selfridge have been getting them too, so it's been, it's been just phenomenal fishing up there. Although locally here around the store, not many guys have been out, so I really don't know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect it to change here either. The fish are not spawned out. Um, the, the water temperature dropping like it has is gonna slow those perch down too. So they're gonna be around at least a couple of more weeks. And with the warm up that we have coming next week and according to the weather forecast, next week is supposed to warm up back into the mid 40s to low 50s maybe. And so that will turn things around. And as you know, it's, it's not about like what the absolute temperature is out there on the water that really matters the most. What matters the most is the direction of whether that water temperature is going up we're going down and so now we've kind of crashed and I don't think we're gonna get much lower than 36. Um, but now we'll start the upward climb again, probably starting this weekend on Sunday when that sun comes back out and warms things up. So I'd expect the good bite to start again on Sunday and then all next week as it warms up and we progress into the mid 40s and into the 50s, that bite ought to really pick up next week. And we got clear water over here on the American side so at least we're starting out with that. So. Um, Let's see, oh, Crocker Road update for you guys. Um, Crocker Road, if you followed me during the week on, my, on Facebook, um, they are actively dredging, and maybe they're done with it now, but for the last several days, they've been dredging at the, the Clinton River Cutoff Boat Launch, affectionately known to most of us locals as the Crocker Road Launch. And um, hopefully all that dredging will have that mouth opened back up and maybe the canal even a little deeper, and they'll be able to get that thing open here really quick. Um, even got a call from um, Senator John James' office following up with me to make sure we were being taken care of here. Um, so that was kind of nice um, to hear that we're, we've, we've made it at least on the map politically um, as far as the issue goes over here with the Crocker Road boat launch. So um, uh, what can I say, guys? You know, we've been putting a lot of pressure on the state trying to make sure that this uh, launch gets opened up for you guys, and hopefully it will get opened up. Um, and we won't have any issues with it after that. So, and I know a lot of you, we got all your opinions about everything coming out of the spillway and that the launch isn't gonna stay open, it's gonna need constant dredging. I don't know. I don't think that's gonna be the case, but we'll have to wait and see. Right now, we're, we're getting ready to open a brand new uh, redesigned boat launch and hopefully it'll, it'll improve the access for many people that rely um, on having a launch this side of Metro. Um, so hopefully everything goes well with that. Um, I think that's about it for my fishing report. I mean, it's a real short one this week with how crazy the weather has been. So I'm gonna open it back up to, to Gabe and Dave and from the Ultimate Walleye Derby and uh, tell yeah, everybody about it. the event. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're, uh, we're putting on a four week event. Um, it's a derby, so it's a big fish event. All you need to do is catch one big fish bring it into a way station. Uh, Sportsman's Direct is, uh, is a way station for us. So um, it's, it's really a simple concept. It's designed around weekend anglers and families and it's accessible to everyone. The ticket prices are low and you got a chance to win a boat uh, every week. The Derby resets every week for four weeks and prizes down to the top five. 
overall we're over two hundred thousand dollars in prizes um for the four weeks and uh we do weekly giveaways we do events everywhere we do all kinds of giveaways so if uh if you guys don't follow us already on facebook make sure you follow us and uh yeah i'm excited i mean the weather's setting up i know guys were catching fish trolling there was a jigging bite going on and that should just light right back up like it like it never stops so once the weather warms up it should be should be a good deal yeah i'm looking forward to seeing a lot of these big fish come in it's going to be really interesting too because the the boundaries for the event they stretch all the way down from basically what the like the michigan waters of erie right outside the mouth of the detroit river and then they go up to the north from there right yeah yeah so it's the the michigan waters of erie there's a small sliver of water on the canadian side that kind of goes towards point Pelee, and then uh detroit river lake st Clair, st Clair river uh lower lake huron saginaw bay and saginaw river to yeah. the split but uh lance <laughs> pointed out something good here that uh it's actually the the bridge there right right before the split what is that rust rust bridge yep yep yep, yep. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see, I mean, where all the big fish come from. Is it going to be Detroit? Exactly. Is it going to be Saginaw? Because I think all three rivers are at a different uh, stage for spawning, right? So I think Detroit might be a little before the St. Clair River, maybe even the Saginaw might be before the St. Clair River. So it might be interesting to see, you know, where all the big fish come from. And it's going to be a timing thing too, right? Because since it's a four-week-long event, it's a month-long event. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you could you could see it progress, right? As, as the temperatures change, the water temps change, it might start out most of the big fish coming from the Detroit River and then it, it might progress and we might get some surprises. You know, we've got, we've got a good population of fish spawning in the Clinton River now too. So the lake bite out here might have some surprises for, for some of these big fish. We've seen some 10 pound fish oh, yeah. the last couple of years come out of the lake, so. Uh, I don't think any of these waterways have all competed at one time. So that's really gonna be interesting. Um, the guys that are, you know, where their home waters are there Everyone says that, you know, my waters are going to win it, but now it's really, we're actually going to compete. So it's exciting. It's super exciting. It's, it's pretty cool too, because you don't have to be a boat owner to get in on this event. If you're a shore fisherman, um, you can still sign up as a short fisherman and you can, I mean, your fish is just as, as valid for the, for the contest as somebody fishing out of a boat. If you're somebody that maybe is coming in from out of state, We've got charter captains that are signed up, right? Yep, so yep, they're all on our website. Um, kayak, I mean, really, we, it's it's open to everyone. So it's uh, and and I truly feel like everyone has a chance. The shore guys have a good chance. The kayak mm -hmm. guys have a good chance. It's, you just got to be strategic about where you go, what the weather is, and yeah. you know, there's there's good chances out there for everyone to to win. And you only need one fish. It's not like trying to pull a a whole box of fish right you you really only need one big one it has the potential for some of these charter captains too to be bragging rights right i mean if, if some of these guys are notorious for tracking down big fish other guys are just known numbers. for putting numbers in right so it's going to be interesting to see how how that pans out and it's uh could be some could be some bragging rights there for these guys if they start consistently weighing in big fish yeah dave's, and, dave's got some feedback from some of the charter guys they're yeah, I mean, some, some of the charter guys are actually um, offering like big fish trips, right? So like instead of going out and getting your numbers of all your eaters, yep. they're saying, hey, come on out. We're going to go target just big fish. So you might only get one bite that day, but it might be a derby fish. So, I mean, charter captains are looking at it well, from all different angles. And it's, and it's definitely different when you're going out there looking for one big fish, especially for walleyes and for these guys that fish every day and they know what stage, I mean, they literally follow these pods of fish up through through the river system, right? And they know what stage those fish are in, whether they're pre-spawn, actively spawning, or post-spawn. Right. And so if you're out there every day and you're following these fish around like that, they definitely know where the big girls are hiding out, and those are the ones you're gonna want to win this event. So, and you know, big spawned out fish versus a big actively spawning fish that hasn't dropped her payload yet, that can mean a couple <laughs> of pounds difference, and that's the difference between a boat and no boat right so yeah. yeah and the weather too you know uh let's just say a really strong south blow on the detroit river is no fun right, right? but there's some areas where you can tuck in and fish a strong south wind right so um we get a week of south winds the river guys might not take advantage of it where the you know some of the lake guys could 
could capitalize on it. You know, like some of the Saginaw Bay guys could. That's true really because with it being a week a week long event, depending on the weather patterns, that can definitely impact it because we could have we could have a week where we get really lousy weather right in the yeah. river where the river turns to mud, and maybe they're not catching any big fish, and all of a sudden, you know, just a seven pound fish could could win a boat somewhere depending on what everybody's catching. You yeah. know, yeah. Right. I mean, plus, so how, how are you going to fish for them too? Right. This might expand people's, uh, you know, opinion on fishing. I mean, you could hand line. Yep. Right. That pulls a lot of big fish. Not everybody likes mm -hmm. to do that. I know that they say it's like an old timer type thing. Well, I'm 26 years old, and I still I like the hand lines. Some of the biggest fish I've ever caught was hand lining. And then you got casting. Yep. Right. And a lot of guys don't like to cast. And you got trolling. Yep. And then you also got the guys who will be fishing from store shore casting as long as uh, you know tight lining. Yep. So I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can uh, pull a derby winning fish. Oh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fun. Um, hopefully, we can get some interviews with these guys too. Um, I'm assuming yeah. that's part of the plan, right? For yeah, the yeah. Promotion. We're doing uh, we're doing video of the week as as a kind of a side uh, prize package there. So every week we're gonna pick uh, a video that's been submitted through our Facebook. Uh, We'll, we'll pick out our favorite video of the week and whether it's uh, in a shop weighing in your fish and ca capturing the excitement there or capturing excitement on the boat or, you know, even not even catching a fish, something exciting happens on the boat. You never know. I've had some pretty <laughs> crazy things happen on the boat, you know. Sure. And uh, we're doing that. And uh, it's we do weekly giveaways on top of that. So uh, those of you that follow us on, on Facebook have seen some of the prizes we've given away and folks have posted their their pictures when they get their prizes. And it's it's exciting for a lot of people. It's already been exciting. We haven't even started fishing yet. Well, cool. You guys got anything else that you think uh, yeah. we need to? Um, on the, uh, if someone does have interest in a boat ticket, uh, basically, the way the boat ticket works is anyone that steps foot on that boat is covered. So individuals don't need tickets when they're when they're on a boat with a boat ticket. Um, so it's not just for charter captains; it's for anyone that wants it. And there's a whole separate prize pot every week for for the for the boat ticket holder, right? So if someone jumps on a boat and uh, their buddy catches the fish, and the captain still gets in on a prize pack for that so um that's that's pretty pretty exciting it's it's some extra incentive um and really uh you know this this event's all about everyone that's a part of it it's it's not about us that are putting it on or you as a way station it's about the people that participate so you know um we want to showcase the people that are a part of it and the more we become engaged with each other and uh, capture our fishery and everything that's good about our fishery you know we get noticed by senators and you know you're a good good example of that right so yep. you know just be active in the outdoors and we won't lose our resource now as far as signing up for the event i know one thing that i've tried to make people aware of is there's like a they have to don't they have to be signed up was it 48 hours before they start to fish so they have to be a bit intentional about signing yeah. up correct yeah you have to sign up 48 hours in advance and then um you can't weigh in your fish has to be weighed in within 24 hours so basically what that is is it leaves you kind of like a 24 hour cooling period let's call it so you sign right. up really you gotta you gotta wait before you you actually can weigh a fish before you're so, eligible yeah, to weigh a fish. yeah actually a 48 hour cooling period so yep. yep yep that's an important one because i know everybody's so so last minute these days about <laughs> yeah. things, right? So you don't want to be signing up in the morning and then and then going out and catch a big fish. So you have to be intentional about it. You need to sign up in advance, 48 hours. So yeah, so that's we're, important. We're kicking off on Saturday. That means what uh, Thursday by Thursday night, you got to have your ticket if you want to fish the first day of the Derby. So um, it's uh, we're we're excited. We're we're kicking off here on on Saturday, and I think we're going to see some amazing things out of this fishery over here that's never really been showcased. It's always been little parts of the fishery, whether it's the Detroit River or the Saginaw River or you know the Bay or Lake Erie, or it's never been all of it together, which which is definitely going to going to make things interesting. Yeah, it does. And we're all used to seeing piles of fish, but we're not used to seeing what the fish actually weigh put on a scale, too. 
So that's that's going to be fun too, seeing the size of some of some of these fish. Yeah. Going to be a lot of a lot of eight pound right. fish. Well, they, they got to be twenty five inches in order to weigh for the derby. So you should only see just you know big fish really coming big to quality the way, fish. Yeah, yeah, come to the weigh stations. Yep. So yeah. So if you guys see, we got these uh, brochures here on the table in front of us. Yep. There's a barcode on them. If you need, if you scan that, that'll take you right to uh, to our website and. Uh, that's all it takes. You jump on the website, you can sign up, buy, get a ticket, and we have a few different options there. There's a family ticket uh, that we didn't talk about, which basically is two adults and three children under 18, um, either same household or same last name. They get basically a $200 break, right? So five people for the price of three. And uh, so it's 300 bucks for the family ticket, 100 for the individual, um, we have a daily ticket for the unexpected guest that shows up that wants to go fishing. And uh, we also have the boat ticket, which is $1,300. So, And all the rules and all of the boundaries and everything are on the website. They're pretty, pretty clear. I went through it today again yep. just, you know, for my own knowledge and everything is on there. So, Yes, and uh, the other important thing is we're using an app called eTournament. Mm -hmm. um, when you catch a fish, you jump on on the app you uh, take a picture of the fish it's going to geo tag it it's going to uh, time stamp it and then you have 24 hours to get that fish into the weigh station so um, we in the rules it states you have to run the app while you're fishing um, it'll also tell you if you go outside a boundary uh, so just to keep things honest. oh that's great yeah that's no, a great tool so get out there buy your tickets www.theultimatewalleyderby.com um, We look forward to having everyone. You got anything? No, I think we covered, I mean, the basics of it. Yep. That was so, the goal. So if you have yeah. if you have questions, you can fire them off to me here on the on the channel or do you guys have a yeah. place on your channel to... Yeah, there's info. Uh, you know, you can email us or call us. There's a phone number there on the website. Um, if you want to learn how to catch the big fish, some tips, some tactics, come see John here at the <laughs> shop. He's got he's got everything you can need. Yeah. Um, and this is all about supporting businesses like like Sportsman's Direct here. Um, we want to showcase all the different shops that we have in the area because it's shops like yours that I learned how to fish for out of. You know, walking in through a door like this and and asking what to do where to go what to use there's local knowledge that we need to retain as part of our fishery and and you know support businesses like sportsman's direct and and uh you know it's important that's another important part of our fishery yep, yep it is supporting all the local businesses up and up and down this whole area from the detroit river all the way up into saginaw so um there's shops and way stations all along so um, with that, I think you got it all covered, I think, or at least I, for yeah, now. Yeah, if anyone's got a question, reach out. Um, follow us on Facebook. Follow Sportsman's Direct on Facebook. You probably already are if you're watching this video. <laughs> but, uh, you know, all of that support helps all of us in the industry. And uh, we're, we're definitely looking forward to kicking off here very quickly. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully the weather cooperates for us. And like I said, the way it's looking, guys, is the weather is going to start picking up here. It's going to start warming up. The bite's going to pick up, and it's just in the nick of time for the ultimate walleye derby here on the Detroit River for us locally, but all along, all the way up into Saginaw. So take care, and we'll see you in the next, uh, the next fishing report. Hopefully we have some big fish to report for, this, for the derby. Hey, gang, if you like our content, hit the little subscribe button and the bell icon, and you'll be notified as soon as we put out new stuff.